Hello everyone and welcome back to the Yukir tribe where we currently have plague in the nursery. I knew we were playing with fire breeding brothers and sisters together, but getting that armored body gene is so important to our goals for the Yukir tribe's future that it was a risk that we took. And for a few of our creatures, that risk was completely worth it. And we ended up having several healthy babies, one of whom, our wonderful Cora, actually even displays the armored body gene. But now we have had two little girls born and we actually have have to give them some new names and I'm going to name them uh, Ara Lala and then we are going to give this one the name of let's go with um Agias, which may sound kind of weird. I wanted to give them two similar names though, but they are carrying what is basically the equivalent of the plague in niche. They happen to have a doubled up immunity and a cold. We have got to get all of our other creatures who are carrying the oh so precious armored body gene away from them as quickly as possible. The irony is this twist may actually let us give birth to several healthy armored body children. If I can get Agias and a little Aralala, a mate that would be safe for them to breed with and roll the dice and see if the armored body would carry through to their children. But for now, I've got to get everybody else away, especially Korra, who happens to be one of our oh so very, very, very precious, very, very important creatures carrying that gene. So I'm going to skin her completely away. She's going to be dashed off um, and hopefully far away from the cold that her, her sisters could have. I'm going to send her father away too. We just have to get everybody like without uh, everybody as far away as we can away from these babies, which is so sad, but it's just the reality of having to play with these genetics. So let's see, I'll have Adria come over here and help out with the clams. I even have to have their brothers get away from them too. So Kurodo is going to come down here. He can help out his grandpa who is right over here, Halvor, gathering up these berries. And then I've got to send their brother away. Little Tata, of course, of course. That's why this happened. Tata has been reborn once again, and he is already causing trouble. I should have known. I should have known he did this. All right, we're going to scooch him over here. This is this is Tata's touch in the nursery. And for those of you who don't know who Tata is, he is our trickster god from a couple tribes ago. And whenever we have a child named Tata born in our tribe, often very interesting things happen immediately afterward. So now we've got most of them away. Maddox is going to scooch over here. I'll have him clear the spot away. Rodin was coming on down to help out his grandma with gathering up resources from this area. Comila has been chased by this balance bear and she's not gonna have any of it. So she's just going to scooch over here and gather up grass to try to help her grandchildren weave new nest. We're going to have little Cora. I really don't want to have to breed Cora and Maddox together, but that honestly is probably my best bet now. So Cora and Maddox are probably going to end up becoming mates to have tons of armored bodied children and just not waste our resources and our time um, as soon as she's of age. Because right now, Maddox is breeding with his sisters. And again, remember, this is niche. So that's okay for our tribe. Um, and we keep having big bodied children instead of armored bodied children. And the armored body is the only thing holding us back from moving to the next island. So I've just got to do what I know I genetically must. So let's see, I'll have Rasi move over here. She can get that mole. And then Rari will scooch over on this side. I hope those birds, the birds are not currently overhead, but we've got to give the babies some space or else we're going to see those genes passed on. So we're going to scooch over here. Dang it, Cora, I really hate the idea that I might have to breed her with her dad, but push come to shove, I just need those armored body genetics. And Avar is staying near Winty. Avar and Winty kind of hang out with one another. Uh, and it looks like Andri can help out with gathering these clams then. Mooney is ready to have her baby. Um, she may be able to come over here and have her baby with Harvey. So Mooney, yeah, we'll bring Mooney over because I want her to have her baby so we get that immunity K gene in. Lily is going to scooch down. And I think Mooney is far enough away from uh, the nest that she shouldn't catch any disease that could possibly be passed on by the sick babies, but we'll see. All right, I'm gonna come over here and these two are gonna do battle with the crabbit. There we go, to gather up its meat and resources. All right, so a little bit of drama. Hopefully the plague will not be passed on to our family in the nest. That's one of my big goals. We also need to gather up more resources. Tagai has been exploring up here on the lookout for 
there we go, some of the roots. And it's actually kind of tricky to find roots at the moment. Uh, and also looking, I might have to guy hang out in the hot springs and gather up this. This is the dried stick resource we can actually use as nesting material. So I might have him move in and do that shortly too. And then Katamai has been gathering up berries and gathering up nesting material. There's a very happy Dodo Mingo <laughs> sitting inside of one of our nests. Oh, silly little cuckoo. And then Snowflake is probably going to be released to join all of our rogue family members. Uh, I think she could definitely kind of make eyes at Kukier here. Ironically, those two would actually have an interesting child. I'm going to let it happen. I'm going to let it happen because why not? Why not? She's got immunity D. We've got a little bit of freedom now that I know Armored Body is kind of in the bag as long as nobody dies of the plague. Um, and Darren... He was kind of wiggling his way up to look for more resources, but I might release him if he doesn't start contributing sometime soon. All right, and then we've got little Evergreen, who has just been born with Immunity K and a beautiful stinky tail. I think she is totally awesome. We'll move her down. And then I need to get Lossie inside of the nest. Excuse you, ma'am. I need you out of my nest, please. You're kind of... Come on, scoot. Come on, come on, Ari. You used to be a member of the family. Get out of the nest. We need that nest. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know how to convince her to leave the nest without attacking. And Sadell, we actually are probably going to release if she doesn't bring in some fish because she has super low fertility and that could be kind of dangerous for us to keep in the family. Kinka is looking for, um, well, actually there's a little crab it. She's actually looking for clams and there's a little clam. So she's our clam collector on this side. Zakai. Zakai, I wanted you to be able to see your child be born and we've got somebody Can I just like that's my nest get out of that nest if she doesn't get out of the nest next turn Then I'm gonna like force her out. So we'll have to see um, I don't know how to get her out without being aggressive. Is she really gonna not budge from the nest? Gosh, I might have to attack her and I hate to do that. And she's also got spiky body, so I really hate to do that. I might have to bribe her with food. I'm gonna have to, you know what? That's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to invite her back into the tribe and bribe her with food to remove her from the nest. That is pretty hilarious. All right, so let's see. Maybe that's a sign that Ari does not wanna be a wanderer anymore. She wants to return to the family. All right, let's see what happens to our plague babies. Is everybody safe staying away from them? Yeah, so far so good. They're also growing up pretty quickly, but I think that if we have, um, if we happen to have the birds come, they're still at risk from the birds. Wow, look at all these clams! Holy days, Adrina, get over here. Gather up these clams. There's so many of them. Uh, and Maddox, I'm just gonna wait for Cora to grow up at this rate. And let's see. Let's see, Ara Lala. I'm gonna have Ara Lala and her sister start wiggling their way up the mountainside. And what they're going to do is they're going to be kind of isolated over here and I'm going to move over Fisk. And we might have Fisk try breeding with them because he has the H and D immunity and those are rare immunity genes that we've been trying to get our paws on for a while. I can't believe I'm going to have to bribe <laughs> All right, get back in the tribe, Ari, and you can stay and help gather up clams now. Look at that. My wonderful Zakai was never able to see his own child born because of Yu Yu Goose. All right, so thankfully, Alasi did make it over, and she's going to have Zakai's child, which pleases me. And let's see. Let's see if little Sadelle can find us any fish. So she's going to climb up and down the cliffside looking for fish. And we can actually clear away some of the snow to make that easier for her. If not, then I think both she and Darren are on their way out and they will become a wanderers as well. All right, and then over here, Kinka can gather up that. She's doing a good job. She's very pretty actually. Oh, and there's a predator right here. Well, thankfully Katamai doesn't even have to put up with that. He can just get out of here while the Dodo Mingo spins around in circles and kind of freaks out. And then Snowflake <laughs> wants to have her baby. Uh, and this rude dude, <laughs> Kook here. I really love Kook here, so I'm actually super excited that we're having a surprise baby with Kook here. Um, but he apparently was very eager to see what nest she was going to use. All right, we're back up here with Tagai, who is going to scooch in and make himself, oh, he can't collect. He doesn't have collecting ability. I was gonna have him just be super comfy and just like hang out eternally inside of, inside of the hot springs, but I guess I have to send him on his way. He does look awful comfy though. Doesn't that look amazing? Yeah, I think they like the hot springs. 
All right, so what else is going on? Balance Bear, you are being so rude to Grandma, and Quamila is just not having any of his nonsense. Do you notice how she just keeps moving away from him? All right, and then we do need... So we got some food over here. Grandpa Halvor is helping out with the food. I'll have him move over to help out with the clam collection, too. Everett is going to pop back over because he's always helping Winty out. He can even kick the tree to help out Winty with gathering up the nuts that she loves to collect. And then we're, oh, we had our baby! <gasps> Immunity K! Huzzah! Anara! I actually like that name. I'm going to leave that name. But we have little Anara with Immunity K. And she is Harvey and Enmuni's first child and possibly only child, to be honest, because she has the Immunity K that we wanted to pass on. Huzzah! All right, so I think that was the only, yeah, the only trait that I really wanted from them. So I think that they're going to be very happy with their only daughter, to be completely honest. And then let's get Kudoi. He can gather that up. Lyrie can help out with this nut right over there. Harvey can come down here and look for some clams just in case. And proud Mama Mooney is going to stand right over here. And she can actually dig up some roots to help feed the family too. All right, good. We're getting the plague babies out of the way, which is a good thing. And I guess Rari can come down here and she can help to collect up some of the food too. So we'll just have a lot of explorers working on food collection, resource gathering. Um, uh, we need a lot more grass. We need a lot more of the clams. Rasai, I mean, I guess Rasai could try having one more baby with Maddox before we have to resort to having babies with like daughters, which sucks, but I just need to focus on those armored jeans so we can get off this island. All right, good, 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 good. All right, all right. And finally, I can see what Lossie's baby with Zakai would have been. <gasps> twins! Oh, that's beautiful. It's only our second ever set of twins. Oh my gosh, Zakai's legacy left behind with two beautiful identical twin baby girls. Our very first identical twins. Zakai, I think you would be so proud. Oh my gosh, Zakai's legacy. Oh, I just tears, tears in my eyes. Gotta brush tears away. And Fisk, get over here. All right, get that bunny. There we go. We have our first identical twins and there's a Kai's daughters. That makes me so happy to know that he is going to live on. We're going to name her, uh, let's go with Zako and Z Zana. Zako and Zana to be able to be in memory of their father. That makes me so happy. Oh my gosh. And they have armored body recessive. What? Yes, I'm so happy. Maybe they'll be able to be bred back into the armored bodied group. Oh, and we won't have to lose the Kai's line. That's awesome. Okay, that, that just tickled me pink. I'm very happy about that. And then we did have another baby over here, little Lara. Let's give her a new name. We're going to go with Anan, uh, which is a name that one of you guys have suggested. And she does have the immunity D gene. Fantastic. She's lost her derp snout and she has got cracker jaw instead. So what a wonderful way to leave behind a legacy with Zukir because I did like him a lot and so we can send this little one off too and she's got that D immunity gene high fertility she's got cracker jaw and I think that Snowflake is very proud and very happy that her child is able to be such a big contribution to the family so healthy more than anything she ever imagined for herself we're gonna attack this carnivore a little bit Hopefully I won't regret that. I think Tagai can come over here and contribute to the attack. Anything that the carnivore tries to do to him is going to bounce off because of the spiky body. But imagine not even having to worry about getting attacked by something because of armored body. <gasps> so amazing. All right. So let's see. You know what? This balance bear and Camila have more been like taking a walk together than anything else this whole time. So Camila is just like, you might as well just keep following me. All right, Rossi is going to settle in. She's got some nice berries to eat for her maternity nest. Ah, and there we go, guys. Cora is old enough. Okay, it's not the best thing in the world, 
but we will be breeding Korra and Maddox together and trying to make sure that we can have a whole fleet of armored bodied people or little children to pick from and we may breed them in one or twice once or twice more in with the family to try to get some of the rarer genes with the armored body but we can only take five creatures so we're just going to try to take the best five of probably the next generation and then we are going to get a move on to the next island and search out for the new gene to add in the only requisite that I really want to have is to make sure that anybody we send is 100% carrying armored body in both slots. So that's my only demand. I think it'll be really fun to see and I'm actually growing so attached to this mountain. It's going to be hard to leave it. Do you guys ever get that way where you're like, I know I want to continue exploring, but it's so difficult to leave behind what we found. All right, Kudoru, we'll have you gather up that. Um, Gosh, and then Mooney is just so happy and taking good care of her child. We do have our little sick children who will need to continue moving on. So let's have Agus move up here too. As long as she stays at least a tile away from everyone else, I think we're safe. And then their brother Tata, who I'm kind of tempted to blame for half this mess, is coming with them. And then, yeah, I guess it's time. All right, Maddox, you and your, your mate Cora are going to be having some very strong, healthy children. And yeah, they're very, very related. So we might have to release them up to like the isolation area into the little hot springs or something. But the risk is worth it if it means we can get tons of armored body. All right, and speaking of armored body and risk, let's get Daryl over here. Cause, or no, it's Fisk. Fisk is going to be the one to bring in the genes. Daryl also has some decent genes, but Fisk has like H and D immunity. So, hmm, maybe we'll bring both of them over, actually. And they can they can breed up with this pair of sisters that we're sending. All right, let's see. Harvey, congratulations on your daughter, Anara. I'm so proud. Very important to get that K immunity gene in, actually, now that I think of it. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm going to weave the K immunity gene into the family. It's so hard to carry in. I'm so excited about our twins, too. All right, Evergreen, you can help out over here, gathering up the various food bits. Lassie, let's see. I'm going to have you step up here and keep an eye on your children because we don't want them to get eaten. Ari is going to be looking for clams since she decided she had to join the family again. And then if Sidel, oh, there's a fish. Sidel, congratulations, you caught a fish and thus have redeemed yourself for at least this turn. All right, and then Kinka is going to grab that. Don't step on the portal. I would be a little bit devastated. And then, yeah, Snowflake is very proud about her daughter. It's gonna be so hard to pick. Do you guys feel like that when it's time to pick who gets to stay and who gets to go? Do you ever get a little bit like agitated? Oh, and we picked up a leech. No big issue, Rodin can help out. There we go. And that's actually Rodin and Rara. And they're a little bit closely related for my taste. I need to start breeding in the the like harder to find immunity genes, to be honest. All right, Rara, you come up here. Oh, also, cause I think, was Rodin, is Rodin? I think, uh, huh. they're all getting too related. <laughs> I was trying to untangle the family tree in my head, but they're all getting too related is the bottom line. So we're gonna try to straighten that out. Um, let's see, but also carry the armored body gene. And then Lily, can you do much? She also is carrying that C immunity. C, we haven't been carrying as much of, and she's healthy with armored body. So should I try breeding her against Maddox? I don't know. Ah, uh, actually, Maddox is passing the C immunity gene down, isn't he? So never mind. I don't think I have to breed Lily, but I'll. I'll give her, she's healthy everywhere else, so I'll give her a little like notation. Um, and there's some clams, okay. Gather up clam, get out of the water. Hopefully they won't freeze doing a little bit of diving like that. And can Mooney, oh, Mooney's gonna pass away of old age. Mooney, you can stay right where you are then and just kind of be nice and comfy. Darn. All right, whew, so. Let's go ahead and see, are we gonna have more plague in the nursery with the very first child that Cora and Maddox are going to have together, or will this be launching into a new era of completely armored bodied creatures that can carry forth the Yukir legacy? The answer is, ooh, danger. 
Danger! Very much danger, I think. But very much armored body, yes! With Kuta, we have a fully armored bodied male. Oh, I'm so relieved. And he has the ram horns. Oh, that's wonderful. Good. Okay, that's really going to help us out. He's also healthy across the board, too. So wonderful. I need to give him a really cool... We're going to name him Glacier. In fact because I want to give him a really powerful name. And he is going to be like our little iceberg, kind of sweeping in. Uh, Aralala is going to be scooching this way. And Aegis is going to scooch over, maybe collect up some nesting material. Daryl is going to have a chance to meet the girls. He has to be careful not to get too close to them, though. And so is Fisk. They, these two will hopefully be the ones we will breed the two girls to to pass on some rare genes and just see if we end up with armored body from our armored bodied but sick girls. So lots of projects going on. All right, Kudoro. I think that you're just kind of like running around, aren't you, buddy? All right. He's just running around. I guess technically we could breed him with his sisters now that I think about it. In fact, that... Well, no, because really what his sisters are doing, because they know they may pass on armored body children, is I'm trying really hard to get some of the rare genes mixed into their family line. All right. So, and they're identical twins. I'm still so excited we had identical twins over here. Evergreen, I don't even know what I'm going to do with you, but at least Ari is like redeeming herself in my eyes by gathering up so many clams. <laughs> so she's doing that. Evergreen can help out over here. Do I have anybody nearby? Well, there we go. And then there's a bunny. Can I get the bunny? Almost, almost. Oh, why does it have to lag? It's been a little laggy lately when I gather up meat, I've noticed. All right. And then we still have very proud, very proud Snowflake with her daughter, Anna, Anan. And they're just going to kind of stay over here and keep an eye on everything. And she can feed her daughter nuts. That's so sweet. It's like she walked over to the tree and kicked it so she could feed her daughter some nuts. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Oh, and then this one was born. <gasps> yes! Rasisi! Another armored bodied creature with antlers. So we have two armored bodied females now. And I'm very excited about that. Whew. And now I think we're going to have to start trying to think about how to get in some of our rare genes. But even if we can't breed in some of the rare genetics for now, just making sure that we have at least five fairly strong. We don't really need to make them super strong because nothing can really hurt them just yet, at least from what I've seen. But we need to just make sure we have enough fully armored body in both slots creatures to pick from that I would be comfortable sending them to the next island together on their mission to gather up more of the rare ice genes. Whew. So we're having a little bit of a good turn of luck. Oh, and our, our little grandmother finally passed away. I'm pretty excited, guys. We're doing good. We're doing good. Now we just hope to keep the like keep the plague out of the nursery because we have been getting really closely related and we've got to be careful about that and we need to do our best never to lose the armored body gene now that we have finally sunk our claws into it and i will see you guys next time Bye bye